Former Prime Minister Dr. Timothy Harris circulated a document he intended to read in the National Assembly regarding comments made by current Prime Minister Dr. Terence Drew on the financial status of St. Kitts and Nevis. In a recent sitting of Parliament, the Speaker ruled against Dr. Harris speaking on the matters on the grounds that he was referring to statements made outside the environment of a National Assembly sitting. According to Dr. Harris, who was the Minister of Finance under the previous Team Unity Administration, as of 3rd August 2022, just two days away from the general elections, the financial position of the country was positive and not as Prime Minister Drew, the current Minister of Finance, indicated on a popular local radio talk show. I want to say that we inherited a deficit. Mm. A deficit, for those who may not understand, it means that more is going out than was coming in. Um, instead of a surplus, is the opposite of a surplus. Mm. So it means, therefore, in other terms, we are in the red when mm. it comes to our overall finances. And this report would have been delivered to me by the FS just recently after doing an assessment. Mm. So we inherited a deficit. According to Dr. Harris's document, as of 3rd August 2022, the country had accumulated millions of dollars, and he states in his document the following, quote, as of 3rd August 2022, St. Kitts and Nevis, under my watch as Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, had accumulated cash position $688,095,501.41. This is an outstanding financial achievement. My administration left our successors a country, that is, all Sinkis and Nevis, with a most healthy financial position, a most sizable deposit buffer of $688 million, closer to $1 billion than zero. The Honorable Member must explain how, in less than 90 days, he spent off or wasted $688 million of our financial resources to put the country in the red. End quote. From the observation of SKN Newsline, both members of the National Assembly appear to be speaking of two different aspects of the country's financial status. Dr. Drew appears to be referring to the overall financial situation that is inclusive of statutory corporations such as Skellig and Scasper, while Dr. Harris seems to be referring to the country's current and investment accounts. SKN Newsline will attempt to shed further light on this matter in subsequent reports. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.